Lizzie with Long Distance Gamers and today I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough of Abduction. Now I've gotten it set up, I'll go over some quick how to play. Uh, quick notes, I do not have the right amount of white ducks, so I got the expansion that has these uh, green ducks. So these are actually the same color, so we have white and green that are both white for the purposes of this. So I did reach out to the publisher, so they, it's a known issue that they gave us too much of one. So soon I'll get the actual correct amount. But for now, I can go ahead and play and I just will have two colors that mean the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have it set up. What I did first is you just randomly draw out of here. You put it in the very downstream one and then all the way up to the top, it's just all randomized. These are the formation cards. We got three of those. And then we got three of these action cards. I forget what they're called. Oh, they are called action cards. So I start with three of them and I literally do what they say with one exception, which is the wormhole, which I will look at that if and when I get it. So basically, unless I am out of these cards and I still can't claim one of these, I can keep going. So with that said, let's take a look. So we have four different ones, which I have, well, three different ones there. And that one's not the same, but I could swap if I had the swap of those. Um, okay. Or three and three. So these are three the same because remember the white is the same as the screen. So I would just need a white or a yellow one there. Or I could swap these two and get a uh, white one there to be able to do this one. Okay, so what I start with is Body Snatcher. I can remove three ducklings from my board and then draw three new ones. Uh, rearrange the order of a straight line. So I could rearrange and just do that. Or double duction. Remove two that touch horizontally from mine or an opponent's board, so obviously mine. Then shift all remaining ducks downstream. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with this body snatcher. So I'll remove three ducks. So these, we'll move this one this one and let's say this one see if maybe we could get a green there so those will go there in the pending area and then we will grab three more so one two and three awesome awesome yay so we will definitely be putting the yellow one there to be able to complete that uh and i guess we'll put that one there and that one there. Okay. So we can go ahead and put these back in here because it's the end of that. Shuffle that up and we will remove these. So we'll put those in there as well. Shuffle that up. And we had gotten this one accomplished because we had three different or well, three of the same on each one. So that is complete. And then all of these little duckies will move on downstream as far as they can go. We'll move pull from in here. Ah, one at a time. Okay, so, wow, we have a lot of this white. Okay. Because this white is um, the, uh, the same. Okay, oh wow. Okay, another yellow. And then we can pull this one out, which we have this one right off rip, which we do get two of these because we completed one of these cards. However, we have a hand limit of three. Okay, so we could immediately get this, but this is only worth one point and um, I'm already at hand limit here. So let's see. I need, I would need to swap these and get 
Okay, if I would do that, then this would get moved. That would move there, there, there. Okay. And then we would can rearrange. Er. Okay, so if we have three of the same, which we pretty much need this one, because it could be four, same color, and the, oh, in this shape and orientation. So it would need to be, oof, so yes, yeah, so I'm not good there even. Okay, um, can I do anything to help out? Okay. I mean, it looks like I could get rid of all four of those and just get a new fresh start and see what I can do with that. So these are going to be real tricky to do. Okay, so yes, yeah, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to pull those out. Get that. I can't grab any more cards because I'm already at maximum. And we will refill. Okay. Ah! Well, that is more beneficial. Okay, let's pull this out. Okay. So we would need to get this one here and this one over here to match this. One, two, three, four, five. Um, we only have four. Okay. Um, mur, mur, mur. And this is ducks of any combination on the top and the exactly matching the three on the bottom. Okay. So let's go ahead and do rearrange the order of a straight line of the three ducks. So, because then we're going to be able to do swap. So, this one will be here. Um, these are all the same. So, it just, I guess that doesn't matter. Okay. And then we will swap. So, we will swap these two. Okay. So, now we have this orientation. So we can go ahead and pull them off and grab that one. And hey, we're at the very top of intern. So if we get just one more, we move up to the next level. Uh, all of these move downstream. Okay, doop, 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 and doop. -doop. Okay, we pull out a new one of these and because I completed one, I get two more cards and I actually have them. These will come, okay. Okay, so swap any number on the top row with the corresponding on the bottom. Okay, that doesn't really help us. We need to get a yellow ducky here and then we'll have this reflection going. Um, and then we are struggling or we could get white. Okay. Um, swap one duck on your board with a duck to the next, then swap it with another duck that it now touches. Swap one duck on your board with a duck it's next to, then swap it with another duck that it now touches. Okay. So, huh, how would that help? Because we could swap this one and then swap that one. That's what that one is kind of talking about. But that does not help us get this one over here. So, if we do this one, and I'll move, pull out these two, I'll move everything downstream, and that would not be helpful to us, really. 
would it? Because if we pull these, we'll move yellow down here, blue over here, green would still be here. So then we would just need to swap those two, but I don't have that. Okay. Urshka. Okay, we could also remove two that are adjacent to each other either way for this one. So I could remove that, bring that down, then green. Ooh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do, let's see, we're gonna go ahead and do this one, right? Is that the, no, this one. No, let's go ahead and do this one just in case we pull out some green. I think that's what we can do. Doop, 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 doop. Oof, that actually was very painful. Okay. There's that. Okay. Um, well, we would need these two to be green or white for that. We completely messed up our ability to do that one. And we have nothing for the four corners yet. Okay. Well, shoot. Okay, if we get, okay, so I can do this. So I can swap this, the blue with there, and then I can swap the blue with the green. So I did this one to swap with that one and then swap with that one. So now these two are the same color. These are all the same colors. So we completed this reflection. So we are now in associate level. So let's go ahead and bring all these down. Let's fill up our little thing. Okay. Blue. Another blue. Holy smokes, these are a lot of blues. Okay, got a pink and a green. Okay, pull out another one of these. And I did get two cards for completing that one. Okay, so we got a swap. And we got rotate any square groups of four ducks on your board counterclockwise. Okay, so we could do clockwise or counterclockwise. Like swap that like that or swap it like that. Okay. Um, whew. Well, I got the greens there. Okay. If we swap. Oh, if we just do this, moving that counterclockwise like that or clockwise then that will match that okay so pull those off bring them all down fill this up okay ooh we're so close to being able to have that. Okay, put these all back in and I only get one more card because I have a hand limit of three. Remove a duck from you or your opponents then shift the remaining ducks downstream. Okay, let's see. Plus three. Three same color ducks in this shape and orientation. So, it would be alternating. Okay. Let's see if there's a way to get this. So remove a duck from yours or opponent's board, then shift all remaining ducks downstream. 
swap any number of top row ducks with the corresponding ones below it and swapping okay so no there's no way to get this one over to that one um okay so yeah um well so if these were the same or if we had alternating so is there a way to get the pink one yeah okay so we could do parallel universe we could swap any number with of these so maybe i can swap this one with that one maybe maybe yeah okay let's okay and then swap so we can swap these two okay and now i have these three in that formation so i can go ahead and pull that down all of these move down Whoop. we are so close to having your green there Oh, and this moves down. Okay, so we have lots and lots of blues. Yellow and yellow. Okay, we got two new cards for completing one. So orbits, we can make something go counterclockwise, swap, and abduct. Oof, okay. Um, I don't think we're anywhere close to that. If we orbit... Um, nope. Her. Yeah, this is... Okay, if we orbit this one, we can swap. Those would be in the right spot. But then when we do an abduction... Yeah. Um... Rotate any square of four ducks. Clockwise or counterclockwise. Well, if we do... Move it that way, then pull that duck, and then move all of them. We can see what that does. So we'll rotate all these ducks this way. For the orbit, then remove a duck, then shift all the remaining ducks downstream. We okay, then we get to pull one more. Uh oh, okay, go back in. I think we are done. I don't think we'll be able to get any of those. Because, yeah, that pretty much needed to be a white or a green. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, we definitely don't have that one. We would need those two to be blue. Okay, so I'll just swap these two. Okay, and that is it. Game is over. So you just go through and add up all of your cards. So that's 5, 10, plus 13, so 23. So I'm over here in Associate. So not the greatest, but that is how you play the game. So it's pretty simple. It's a nice little bit of a head scratcher a little bit. You try to just match your ducks. Trying to get them, manipulate them to match these and get your points. So I do really enjoy it. It is kind of like a nice little, nice relaxing game that you can just play at the end of a night or something. So I would definitely want to try this one again. Hopefully get a little bit better than Associates. Would also like to play it against people. So we'll see how that all goes. But that is what you get for abduction with the solo playthrough. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, just remember to have fun, be present, and be you. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us. We would love to hear from you. Also, if you find value in our content, please like, comment, or subscribe. Let a friend or family member know that we exist. Help us spread our channel and bring remote gaming to a table near you. Thank you very much, and have a great day.